torque tau measures the tendency of force to produce rotation about an axis of rotation. Let R be the vector with initial point located on the axis of rotation and with a terminal point located at the point where the force is applied. And let vector F represent the force, then torque is equal to the cross product of R and F. Tau equals R cross F. So that's essentially how we find the torque here. So when I look at this, I'm going to start here. That's where my um, initial point is located. So it's going to be there. And it's going to run all the way out here. And that um, vector is going to be my R. And that's what we see here. And I just drew the pic. I didn't draw the picture below here. I got this picture from OpenStax below here. So I just kind of kept it all together so we can actually get a nice visual here. And then my force being applied would be at the end of that. So it would be there. So once I take that cross product, notice what's going to happen here. It's like me taking this here. Oops. This here and moving it over here and that's essentially what i'm doing and then i'm going to take the cross product of that which is going to give me a vector that's orthogonal to those two now notice which way this is going it's going in that direction so that means it's going to be up and i know that those both uh both r and f are going to be orthogonal to their their cross product so that's what we're going to end up with here so it's kind of nice how that works out so let's do this problem. So this is where I'm at here. So this here is like my R. That is like my R. That is my R. And then here is my force. So in essence, I'm going to do that cross product. Um, so this means I'm going to take this here. Oops. And I'm going to move it over here. And since that was 12 inches there, this here is going to be my angle now. This is my angle here. So if I look at that angle, I know I have this 90 degree here. And then I have 30 degrees more. So that means that angle then is going to be 90 plus 30, which is 120 degrees. So that's going to be a 120 degree angle that I'm dealing with here. Now remember what this is asking for here. It's asking for the magnitude of the torque at point P. Now one of the things I want to do before we continue further with this is I want to convert these 12 inches into feet because it's usually foot pounds that we talk about uh, force. So this is actually just going to be one foot here. Um, so then think of the formula that we have here. So here it is. That's the formula for the magnitude of the cross product. And that's what we're dealing with here, the magnitude of the torque. Because the torque is a cross product. So it's R cross F. So for us, we would have R cross F. And our R is one foot. Um, we already know that from the diagram. Okay, so our magnitude of U is gonna be one, because that's our magnitude of R. And that's gonna be times and then our V is going to be our force here. So that's going to be 10, 10 pounds. And then we have the sine of 120 degrees. So sine is positive over there. So that's going to end up being square root of 3 over 2. So this is really 10, because 1 times 10 is 10. So that's going to be 10 times square root of 3 over 2, which equals 5 square root 3. Because we can simplify, um, that's going to be a 1, that's going to be a 5. And that would be the answer here. And we would say foot-pounds. Or we can 
decimal approximate this one because this one says to two decimal places. So then that would result in 8.6600. Zero two five, which two decimal places would be 8.66. So there's our answer, and it would be foot pounds.